My cycling story in under three minutes. So I started off as a runner. I was training for London Marathon and I got injured. I did eventually do the marathon and it was amazing. But I was like, running's not for me if I'm gonna get this injured. So I borrowed my granddad's mountain bike to commute to and from work and just use that to build fitness instead of running. Five kilometer commute, it was so hard. There was a little hill in it. I found it really tough. At this point in time, I was also recovering from an eating disorder. So when I started eating normally again, I gained a lot of weight. So I was probably around 100 kilos at this point. So cycling did feel quite hard. I decided to go for a year out to Australia and absolutely loved that. And then when I was in Adelaide, one of my friends there said, you know what, it'd be really good for you to get a bike. It's a great way to travel, great way to build fitness now you're not running. So I use a lot of my budget for buying my brand new Giant Avail from the Giant shop in Adelaide. And when I tell you, when I got on that, I felt like an absolute pro. I felt like I could win the Tour de France because I'd been used to like a mountain bike. This was like a lightweight road bike. It was phenomenal. I didn't ha know how the gears worked at all. I had no idea anything about bikes, but I loved it. I did my first climb, which was Norton Summit. It's a 5K climb. It took me two hours, so I didn't find it particularly easy, but I loved it and I knew I was gonna get fitter and eventually lose weight by just riding my bike. From then, I went to Vietnam, I went to Cambodia, I went to Thailand with my bike, just exploring on there. But there was actually a cycling festival in Thailand. I was always dead last. In that whole group, I was always the one at the back, but I didn't care because I just loved it. Anyway, fast forward, I come home, come home with my bike, I started commuting to and from work on it. I joined a club, did some sportifs. I absolutely just loved riding my bike. I then found my local climb, which is Dovestones, and I loved it. And I was like, this is gonna be my goal, just to get faster and faster on this climb. And I had this goal of becoming queen of the mountain. I then started doing Audax, which were two, three, four, 600K rides. Didn't always successfully do them the first time. And I just did like loads more hills, more mountains, traveled abroad with my bike more. So I went to Mallorca, Gran Canaria, Tenerife. France, the US, Australia, Belgium, Switzerland. A few years into this cycling journey, I've lost around 35 kilos. And five years after doing my first ride up that local climb, Dovestones, I got the QOM. And to say I was proud and excited is a massive understatement. I was that excited that I had decided to Everest that climb. Since then, we bikepacked the Women's Tour de France Femme last year. Entered my first ultra, I failed it, but then I went back and then managed to get a second woman back, which I think is my proudest moment on a bike, completing that. I went from struggling to ride a 5K climb to not only completing that ultra, but placing pretty well. So overall cycling for me has helped me build fitness, lose 35 kilos, help me make some of the best friends that I have and have some of the best memories ever. So cycling really for me has changed my life. I wanted to give you hope. So if you're starting out and you're not particularly fit, look where I've come, look at my journey. I hope that encourages you and inspires you to do more and push yourself to your limits.